Okay, I wanted to share some of my thoughts on uh, uh, return to play and returning from injuries. And a big thing that we see with our athletes is they may be cleared by the doctors and the physical therapists as, as far as doing some basic tests, single leg balances, maybe a few little drift tests. But we really want to challenge and tax their body in, in different ways to see if they can handle the forces and stresses their sports require. So this is some really cool uh, dynamic locomotions that are asymmetrical, that uh, different tempos, different speeds for soccer, but it also works great for lacrosse and other sports. This is some great locomotion that uh, Dr. Nick Studhome, my colleague, and his brother uh, had come up with for soccer players, just changing the tempo and the speed. But what we thought we'd do is integrate also some different warding patterns uh, for lacrosse. Uh, we work with a ton of lacrosse players here, so I want to share some of the warding patterns that Michelle uh, Dalcor had come up with with the Institute of Motion and kind of blend the, the two together. Lacrosse is, is, a, is a dynamic sport. I see a huge number of I injuries, and so what I wanted to do is kind of integrate the quick feet and being able to uh, keep the feet moving, but also you're engaged with your opponent. Your stick may be on them. Uh, you may actually be um, defending them, warding them, fending them off, um, which in is engaging your body in different ways and puts different stress loads. I want you to take a look. What I'm actually doing here is I'm actually pressing into that stick with a constant pressure. He has to keep locomoting in different directions while engaged with me the entire time. Great reaction drill. Great to see how his body responds to it. And this is a return to play from an ACL. But again, it can work for many different sports. It's not so much the injury. It's how does this whole body work efficiently as a global unit. We can also change it into more of a shuffle pattern. Uh, just quick feet changing directions and seeing how his body responds to it. And he can press and we can have him press in different directions um, and engage his body at the same time. Very effective for return to play.